My interest in biking really started as a way to like rehab injuries, to be honest. It's a place of happiness. And once I'm into something, I get really, really fired up on it. I think when I heard that formation was happening, it became a no-brainer that I was gonna be a part of it. This was an opportunity to contribute to women progressing in their sport. It's just the start of something that hopefully will widen the opportunity for, for female free riding in the future. Formation is really that, forming the future and figuring out what it can look like. The gathering of the best female mountain bikers in the industry, there's six of them that were invited. You know, at the end of the day, it was giving these girls the opportunity to ride on a resurrected rampage site. Tani Seagrave is one of the top female mountain bikers in the world. She's consistently on the podium, if not winning the World Cups. Veronique Sandler has been one of these people that girls can look to and be like, I want to do that. I mean, she's definitely a pioneer. I chose Michaela Gatto because I've known her for a long time and I know that she is an unreal rider. She's good, she's really good. Hannah Bergman's kind of like the dark horse. No one knows who she is. She's confident, she's strong. I mean, I think Hannah's the future. Via Verbeek, she's an incredible rider. She's got insane style and she's really motivated. Vinny's got insane style and all the girls really respect her and she just charges on a big bike. I feel like Casey is this person that makes everything seem possible. From a young age, there was no way to prove yourself as a chick. You weren't gonna get into any movies. There was no like place for you unless you had proved yourself previously in racing. Proving grounds. That was an event that got created for a qualifying event for Rampage. Three, two, one. It was a bunch of jumps and drops and stuff, like pretty sizable things, like biggest stuff that I've ever hit. There was this sizable wood to dirt jump. Broke my collarbone and bruised my liver. It's just part of the equation when you're riding in an event like this. That was the first time I'd been seen equally like as just a rider, not like, okay, you're a chick on a bike. It was just, you're one of the riders. That was really uh, in insane for me to see that and be part of that. Even though I'm injured here and I'm so stoked to see everyone here and I just want to give as much as I can to this event. There's been so many opportunities for the racing world, but for the free ride world for women, this is like the first thing that's really come up that's serious and is gonna have traction in the industry. If someone said to me, what's your dream sort of project, I probably would say this, but I would have never thought that it would ever come to life. We all know how to ride bikes, we're all pros. We've all been doing this for a while. A lot of us have never picked up a shovel and started digging our own lines. It was crazy, like seeing all the iconic drops and stuff that we know people have flipped or we know people have tried to do like big tricks off. It was really blown up by like probably three times as big as I thought it was. It's just so exposed and it's so steep and there's cliffs everywhere. And when I was walking up, I was super scared because I thought, oh my God, what have I got myself into? Like, there's no way. The whole time I've been here, I couldn't stop but think like, the most comparable place is Alaska for me. It's the same mindset. You're dropping into like this steep, exposed face and you, and you really don't want to fall. 
until you get into the terrain and become more intimate with it, it's really intimidating. And I think that's kind of what these girls experienced. We're working further down now. Um, kind of got the upper section pretty much dialed in yesterday. It's definitely nerve wracking, but I'm at the same time feeling pretty confident in what we built and that it'll work well. Spent the morning kind of taking off the features that we've been building. It's been pretty scary for me, like, literally don't know how to ride this terrain and don't know what it's gonna do, but it's been sick dialing it in with the girls and everyone's like hyping each other up and to send stuff, so it's pretty good vibes. Being behind the lens was, it was really exciting. My motivation behind that is really to like showcase these female athletes like progressing their sport. I hope that I captured that in my photos as well. I think that formation is like a pivotal turning point for these girls. The world is super interested and I think the world is super hungry like I am to see more women ripping. We want more women out there doing that. We want to see that. We want to experience that with them. Course is clear. I have a peak. Dropping. I've never done something like this with skiing, and I've never really heard of it done in other sports either. An opportunity to come together and progress. That's one of the most powerful parts of this event. The first time I went to Red Bull Rampage to watch it was a few years ago, and my very first question was, why aren't women competing here? Now, another year later, we are here with kind of the evolution of that first question that I asked. There may never be women competing at Rampage in the way that it looks now, but there might actually be something more incredible than that.